Hey guys and welcome back for another very interesting flashlight from Phoenix in my eyes. It's the CL27R. It's a multifunctional uh, spot and float light or outdoor camping lantern, how you want to call it. Really a big fan of this one. It's uh, the newer version of the CL28R from Phoenix uh, that I already reviewed. I will link the video underneath uh, in the description. This one I really liked and used a lot so far. The only thing I didn't like that much is a built-in battery. For those of you that know me, uh, I'm a big fan of swappable batteries. So if uh, normally if something breaks in all these electronical devices, it's often a battery. So here uh, you will have to uh, try to get it open to replace it. So I'm a huge fan. They changed this on the 27R. So it comes in a plastic packaging with already a lot of information printed on, maximum 1600 lumen, 285 hours of maximum runtime, 800 meters beam distance. That's quite impressive because it has this uh, tear lens in the middle compared to this one which will only produce uh, a really floody beam, so that's also quite nice. It has red light, spotlight and flood light and the flood light you can uh, adjust the light com color just like on the CL28R. It has one 5000 milliamp battery, a 21700 that is replaceable, so that's pretty cool. Magnets built in and uh, so on. So you have all the different flood, spot, spot and flood light mode together and red light mode. Waterproof according to IP68, impact resistance for drops of a height from 1.5 meters, it weighs 300 grams including the battery, the size is 109.8 times 39.6 times 91.7, so pretty cool features, I'd say we open it up and have a closer look at the light, see what we will get with it. So we have the user manual in different languages, then the light itself with the tripod mount, magnets built in. You can move it around to get it installed in the way that you need it. And then we have USB-C to USB cable, we have one spare o-ring for the battery compartment and then we got this little plastic lens. First I thought it would be a replacement lens but it's made to open up the battery compartment. So the battery is sitting quite tightly in here. You have to unscrew it all the way so it's nice and waterproof. Threads run smooth. Here is sitting the o-ring. Take out the battery. It's a standard Phoenix battery. Really good quality batteries. I really like them. So install it. There's a little pin at the bottom, spring in the tail cap, battery cap, how you want to call it, and then make sure to tighten it fast, to tighten it all the way so that it will be waterproof. We have a battery indicator on top, so you can see we only have half the battery at the moment. We turn the light on. Stepless dimming, really nice by turning the knob. And this one we will adjust the light color so it goes from cool white to really warm white. So I guess it's between 6500 Kelvin to 2800 or 500 Kelvin. So that's really nice. To switch the modes, To get to the to get to the red mode, press the button. And then we have constant red on, red blinking. If you turn the knob, we will directly go to the flood mode again. The 
and then by pushing the button you can cycle through the different modes so we have the spot mode there you can't adjust the light color only the brightness as you can see push the button again everything combined we'll dim it down so maybe you can see and then another press and it will only activate again the flood mode so that's a really nice an easy user interface that's something i really like about phoenix they uh, are so intuitive that you don't need to read the manual to understand how the flashlight works here we have the usb-c port sitting you can use it as a power bank as well but with only one 21700 battery you will not be able to charge big devices so it's more to charge the phone while camping or so on so we'll have a look at the technical specifications if they indicate anything about the emitters used. <coughs> so they say that it uses one tricolor cop uh, LED that's the one they use for the floodlight tricolor but uh, then by uh, turning on the different levels you will get the different light colors between 6500 and 2800 Kelvin approximately for the um, spotlight it's one SST 20 with about 6500 Kelvin That's pretty much it. I told you all the rest already. And then you can see that if we combine the spot and flop mode, we will get the highest output of about 1,600 uh, 1, lumen and 800 meters beam distance. And then it has a maximum. And then it has a maximum peak beam intensity of 8,233 candela. And then it has a maximum peak beam intensity of 8,233 candela. It has a battery level indicator, as I showed you, and then low voltage warning. As soon as the uh, battery voltage drops, it will uh, start blinking. But uh, I would prefer that the uh, LED would be blinking because if you are working or so, you will not directly notice the blinking here. So I will now charge the flashlight up and uh, measure it in my Ulbricht ball and then we will go outside in the forest and compare it to the CL28R and then you can choose which of the two lights suits your needs more. So I have a small rectification to make. I did not see that on the back of the light it's engraved uh, so it's between 2700 Kelvin and 6500 Kelvin so I was pretty accurate with the 2800 but uh, yeah it goes down to 2700 Kelvin hey guys and welcome back we are now in the forest with the CL27R in the flop mode in the lowest uh, setting which they indicate with 10 lumen I measured 9.6 lumen, then they indicate the medium with 600. Um, I also was able to measure 600 lumen, but uh, it's stepless dimming, so uh, not really relevant. And then in the highest mode, they indicated with 1200 lumen, I measured even 1300 lumen. I will now show you the tint shift from cool white to warm white so that's really nice I will now activate the spot mode here you don't have any tint shift I will dim down to the lowest mode which they indicated with 5 lumen and I measured 
four lumen in the middle they indicate 400 lumen which I was able to measure and if I go all the way up it's 800 lumen and I measured 850 so really nice beam distance for camping lantern that's uh, really not bad at all that's really not bad at all especially if you are camping and you just need uh, quickly a wide beam or a long beam if you are searching for something this is really really handy and then you can of course combine the two modes together which is the highest output uh, they indicated with 1600 lumen I measured 1620 lumen after about five minutes the lights get so hot that it dims down to 730 lumen and then I will activate the red light don't see much it is uh, indicated with 10 lumen I also measured 10 lumen and then it has red blinking I will now I will now show you a comparison to the CL28R so this is the CL27R in the warm white mode. Now comes the CL28. So here, in my eyes, there's not a lot of difference to be seen, but the CL20R has 2000 lumen, so a bit more output. Here's now the cool white setting of the CL28R and here the cool white of the 27R so here the 28R is a bit brighter and now I will activate the float and spot of the CL27 so you can see there's way much there's way more beam distance and that I really like about the CL27. In my eyes, they built a really good flashlight here, a good camping lantern, which is way more usable than the CL28R. Uh, it has more fields of use and uh, what I really, really like is that they make uh, and what I really like is that they made the swappable battery available so that you don't have the built-in battery pack, which I really don't like too much. So I have nothing negative to say about this light. I really like it and I hope they will continue the development of these camping lanterns. So if there are any questions left, don't hesitate to put them in the comment section. And as always, I would really like if you would hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you soon guys. Bye bye.